a lot of people ask like how do you find winning products what's the formula how do you do facebook ads like that part is easy dealing with holds cash flow accounting that's when things get complicated and that's what a lot of dropshippers don't tell you guys and i want to be transparent i want to let you guys know that dropshipping isn't as easy as it seems hey guys what's up in this video we'll be talking about dropshipping payment processor holds this is super important most people think the hardest part of dropshipping is finding winning products facebook ads but the actual difficult part like all that is easy once you get the hang of it and once you follow a proven blueprint when it gets hard is when you're dealing with holds you're dealing with disputes you're dealing with people reporting your ads facebook account being disabled that's the hard part of dropshipping set up your store finding winning products scaling out the ads that's easy but on this video we'll be going over payment processor holds specifically watch to the very end if you want to hear my tips when it comes to overcoming these payment processor hold issues before we get into the video let's announce last video's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or giveaways the winners here if you guys want to qualify all you have to do is drop a comment below like this video hit the notification bell be subscribed make sure you're following me on instagram and i'll be picking the best comment every single video let's get right into the video drop shipping payment processor hold solutions people go with shopify payments paypal and stripe and you would always get to a point where you have a hold every time you scale there will always be a hold given to you eventually and that's sort of the nature of the drop shipping business there's no way for you to avoid this it's going to come eventually first thing first you don't want to bother fighting with these payment processes they're in control you're using their services and they set the rules just like how you use facebook and just like how you use instagram shopify you're using their platform yes you're paying but you have to follow their rules if you don't want to sort of go into these issues you go ahead and make your own payment processor but if you're going ahead and using someone else's payment processor you have to follow their rules and from what i've experienced you know talking to lawyers talking to a lot of top drop shippers uh, there's nothing you can do you just gotta go with the flow and work around these holds so don't bother trying to fight it it's just a waste of energy so as i said before you will eventually get a reserve and money held this is inevitable it's gonna happen you have to not focus not know not focus on trying to get that money back and assume that it's lost it's just part of the game now it's not going to be lost forever you're probably going to get it back in six months but you don't want to expect to get it back in two weeks three weeks four weeks after a bunch of calls you want to expect that money to be locked up for the next six months and you don't want to assume you're going to get it back and you don't want to rely on it so what you want to rely on is you want to rely on credit cards and your cash reserves money that you've been able to withdraw and that's why it's super important to build your cash reserves when you're doing drop shipping you don't want to blow your money on a car on an lv gucci sort of hoodie you want to save your cash reserves because when you scale to a certain point you're eventually going to get hit with these reserves and that's when your cash is going to come in handy the typical reserve is 25 percent over 90 days rolling on top of that they're going to reserve the money that's currently in your paypal account let's say you have 50 grand in your paypal account and then you're hit with this reserve not only will future payments 25 percent be locked for 90 days but your 50 grand will most likely be locked in the account as well and this is going to make it super hard for you to fulfill orders and pay for facebook ads so that's why you want to always withdraw money when you can save that money for when situations like this come because you're not actually losing the money the money is just going to come back but it's going to take six months and for you to be able to survive for six months you're going to really need your cash reserves the solution you want to maintain a 25 percent plus profit margin so that when you withdraw the 70 percent that's more than enough to cover one facebook ads two cover the cost of goods and you want to just wait the nine days for money to roll back in every single day and once you wait out that three months you'll be in a good good spot with the money flowing back in to your account and you're able to withdraw it and that's going to be really helpful but this is probably the toughest part of the drop shipping business a lot of people ask like how do you find winning products what's the formula how do you do facebook ads like that part is easy dealing with holds cash flow accounting that's when things get complicated and that's what a lot of drop shippers don't tell you guys and i want to be transparent i want to let you guys know that drop shipping isn't as easy as it seems 
and there's a lot of these issues that are gonna come and hit you and if you have no idea it's gonna really affect you that's why I want to do these videos I want to give you guys a heads up so that when it does happen you won't be surprised now my final tips one you're using their platform so you have to work around and with their rules there's nothing you can do two you want to work under the assumption that you're not going to get your money back for the next six months that 50 grand I said in the previous example don't assume that you're going to get that after one or two three calls or after three months you want to assume that's lost for like six months straight and finally three you want to do the math and find out how you'll be able to continue and operate without the money so making sure that your profit margin is more than 25 percent after ad spend do the math do the calculation and make sure you're able to continue running and growing the business especially when scaling that if the money's locked up and you're only able to withdraw 75 percent will you be able to continue growing and maintaining your business? So do the math, and that's my final tips. Now, if you guys want these slides, then the description below completely for free. I'm not gonna upsell you or sell you these. I'm not gonna upsell you it or like charge you for this. It's completely for free because I know that a lot of people wanna have these PowerPoints in their computer so they'll be able to go through it when they're offline. So that's why I provide these slides completely for free. Other than that, question of the day, I wanna hear about your experiences with payment processes and what is your hold? And listen to those that are at that level and I wanna hear what type of holds you've got. Like I, my hold is like 20% over 50 days. So I was able to get a pretty good deal also, another secret tip, you want to call paper and you want to negotiate a deal. You could negotiate and be like, hey, would you be interested in increasing the hold to say 35%, but rather than making it 90 days, make it 30 days. Or you could say, rather than making the hold 25%, make it 15%, but hold my money for 120 days. That's another thing you do. You can negotiate with PayPal people and that's something I actually did and it actually helped me get a better deal on my hold. So that's another secret tip that I saved for the very end of the video. Other than that, hope you guys found value in this video as always. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like the video if you guys found value. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more golden nuggets. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate your support. Peace.